According to fresh leaks out of Gigafactory Shanghai and early design blueprints believed to be from Tesla, the Model 2 won't just be a smaller Model 3. Instead, it's shaping up to be a radical redesign, featuring what insiders call the most shocking exterior change Tesla has ever made. And remember, this is the car targeting a price under $15,000. The one Musk says will bring millions of everyday drivers into the EV world. What exactly did Tesla change? Why are some early testers calling it the best-looking budget EV ever? And could this new body design make Tesla's cheapest car feel like a premium model? We'll break it all down in today's video. You're watching Auto Gear Shift, where we talk Tesla the way real drivers do. No fluff, no fanboy talk just solid numbers and real engineering. If that's your kind of garage talk, hit subscribe, tap the bell, and help us reach 15,555 subscribers so we can keep building this channel for people who care about what's under the hood, not just the headlines. How can a two-door Tesla really be roomier? Tesla's 2026 Model 2 breaks tradition in more ways than one. For the first time in the company's history, a two-door hatchback joins its lineup. Compact on the outside, yet cleverly engineered to outperform expectations on space, structure, and manufacturing speed. While most Tesla vehicles stretch past the 4.6-meter mark, the Model 2 comes in at roughly 4,050 millimeters long, 1,790 millimeters wide, and 1,440 millimeters tall, making it about 230 millimeters shorter and 80 millimeters lower than the Model 3. Despite that smaller footprint, Tesla has squeezed out up to 20% more usable interior volume, bringing total cargo and cabin space to around 2,450 liters combined. A feat achieved through precision packaging and a reimagined roofline. The secret lies in the new hatchback rear architecture. A steeply sloped C-pillar and elevated tailgate allow for a 480-liter cargo bay with the rear seats folded, roughly 75 liters more than the Model 3 offers. The flat load floor is made possible by relocating the rear motor slightly forward and integrating the cooling modules beneath the subframe. This not only creates a deeper trunk floor, but also improves aerodynamics by streamlining the rear underbody airflow. Even with only two doors, Tesla has optimized ingress and egress using 1.15 meter wide front openings and longer door hinges that extend up to 37 degrees, comparable to what's found on compact coupes like the BMW 2 Series. Inside, the slimmer seats and reduced dashboard depth have freed up 42 millimeters of extra knee room for rear passengers, a subtle but crucial improvement for short distance urban rides. In tight city spaces, the car's agility stands out. The new steering geometry gives the Model 2 a turning circle of just 5.15 meters, tighter than a Mazda MX-5 Miata's 5.3 meters, allowing it to U-turn on streets where most EVS would struggle. Combined with a curb weight expected to be under 1,450 kilograms, thanks to the 9,000-ton GigaPress single-piece rear casting, the Model 2 becomes not only nimble, but also structurally superior. Tesla's engineers report a 40% reduction in welding points and a 67% cut in assembly time, with manufacturing energy consumption down by 30% compared to the Model 3's steel body. How can one LED strip save? 25% more energy. Tesla's decision to ditch traditional dual headlights for a single full-width LED light bar on the 2026 Model 2 marks one of its boldest exterior redesigns yet. Spanning 1,370 millimeters across the front fascia, this unified lighting system mirrors the Cybertruck's minimalist DNA. But beneath that sleek surface lies a deep engineering overhaul. According to early technical data shared by suppliers in Shanghai, the new monoline LED array operates at 9.8 volts instead of the typical 12 volts powered by next-gen Osram Oslon black flat chips. Each module outputs roughly 1,800 lumens per watt, allowing the entire lighting system to consume just 92 watts under full beam operation, 
a 25% reduction compared to the 122 watts drawn by the Model 3 Highlands dual beam setup. In night driving tests, this translates to an additional 4 to 5 miles of real-world range over a 300-mile charge cycle. Durability is another key advantage. Traditional headlamp assemblies rely on two separate housings, each containing multiple boards, connectors, and cooling elements. Tesla's new design merges everything into one sealed aluminum housing with a single printed circuit board PCB and one high-voltage connector, cutting the number of electrical joints from 46 down to just 18. That simplification reduces potential electrical failure points, lowers part costs by roughly $85 per vehicle, and trims 1.6 kilograms off the car's nose. Tesla's testing data shows a 12% increase in beam distance, now reaching nearly 155 meters on high beam, thanks to a new vacuum-sputtered reflective coating applied to the inner housing. This coating improves directional focus without adding extra LEDs, giving the Model 2 better road illumination than the Model 3 Highland, while maintaining a tighter beam spread to reduce glare. How can Tesla really ditch paint? One of the most surprising changes to the 2026 Tesla Model 2 isn't something you'll see. It's what the car is made of. Tesla has developed a new steel aluminum manganese alloy for the Model 2's body structure, designed to strike the perfect balance between strength, weight, and cost. This new alloy makes the Model 2's body about 8% lighter than the Model 3, roughly 45 kilograms less overall, yet it's also 15% stiffer, meaning the frame resists bending or twisting more effectively. In testing, that extra stiffness cuts structural flex by about 20 newton meters per degree, so the car feels tighter in corners and more stable during impacts. But the most radical development is in how Tesla plans to finish the body, or rather, not finish it at all. Engineers are testing a new dry coat finish process, which eliminates traditional wet painting altogether. Instead of multiple primer, base, and clear coat layers that can cost up to $3,000 per vehicle, the dry coat method uses a vapor-deposited protective film that bonds directly to the alloy surface. This treatment gives the metal a natural satin texture resistant to scratches, oxidation, and UV fading. And because the color is inherent to the alloy itself, there's no paint to chip, fade, or peel over time. If the trials at Gigafactory Shanghai succeed, the Model 2 could become Tesla's first unpainted production vehicle, a move that would not only reduce factory emissions by roughly 40 kilograms of CO2 per car, but also simplify recycling at the end of the vehicle's life cycle. For buyers, it means less maintenance, less worry about paint damage, and a car that keeps its futuristic look for decades, all while being stronger, lighter, and cleaner to build. How are new door handles and mirrors the most practical change Tesla has ever made? Tesla's 2026 Model 2 might look minimal at first glance, but two of its smallest exterior parts, the door handles and mirrors, have received engineering-level attention that's anything but minor. The new horizontal pull-style handle replaces the older flush-mounted design, cutting the opening force down from around 30 newtons to just 18 newtons. In cold climate testing at minus 5 degrees Celsius, this new handle mechanism maintained full operation through 980 of 1,000 test cycles, while the old Model 3 handle failed intermittently after about 170 cycles due to frost buildup. Tesla also simplified the internal linkage, reducing the moving parts from 9 to 5, which lowers long-term mechanical wear and speeds up service replacements by nearly a minute per door. The side mirrors tell a similar story of refinement through numbers. Their reflective surface area has been expanded from 35 to 39 square inches, giving the driver an extra 4 inches of visibility width on each side. That seemingly small increase reduces the side blind zone to less than 1.9 degrees, tighter than any compact EV currently sold in North America. The new mirror housing is sculpted to cut aerodynamic drag by 0.003 in drag coefficient. That's equivalent to roughly five extra miles of real-world driving range on a full charge. 
Each mirror also uses a dual-motor folding system tied to the car's rear radar, automatically retracting when it senses an obstacle closer than 30 centimeters. How can a $15,000 hatchback really match Porsche-level aerodynamics? 2026 Model 2's integrated rear body design now achieves a drag coefficient of just 0.22 cd, the same figure claimed by the Porsche Taycan, a car that costs nearly three times as much to build. Every 0.01 reduction in CD typically adds about 8 to 10 kilometers of range at highway speeds, and the Model 2's streamlined tail contributes a significant share of that efficiency gain. A hidden rear spoiler, molded directly into the tail structure, generates roughly 18 kilograms of downforce at 110 kilometers per hour giving the lightweight hatchback noticeably better stability in crosswinds and high-speed lane changes. In Tesla's internal track data, lateral body sway dropped by nearly 7% compared to early prototypes without the spoiler. Translating to tighter cornering and smoother steering feedback above 100 km per hour. Completing the package are Tesla's new 17-inch Aeroflow wheels, which feature closed face inserts and a redesigned airflow pattern around the brake housing. Each wheel cuts rotational drag by about 6 newton meters compared to the Model 3's base rims, improving the car's total energy efficiency by around 5.4%. In real-world driving, that means an extra 22 to 25 kilometers of range per full charge, without touching the battery pack. So, if you could pick just one feature to see on your next Tesla, which would it be? Comment 1 for the new hatchback body, 2 for the LED light bar, 3 for the unpainted alloy shell, 4 for the smarter handles and mirrors, or 5 for the aero tail and wheels. And tell us why in the comments below. If this breakdown gave you a clearer picture of Tesla's next big move, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss our next deep dive into the Model 2's powertrain and interior. You're watching Auto Gear Shift where real drivers talk Tesla with numbers that actually matter. Goodbye and see you again.